Hello everyone, it's Randomizer Gamer Diz, or Crazy Cuber here, and and today we're we're going to be taking a, we're going to be taking a look at a YouTuber um, and former TikToker. We're, today we're going to be taking a, taking a look at that vegan teacher. Uh, she basically is a a vegan act. She's basically a vegan activist. Um, she was a former, I think, English teacher uh, that's now on. That's now on social media, um, promoting her veganism and vegan lifestyle. And um, before we get started, I I, I just want to say something. Um, I just want to say something real quick. Um, ho hopefully, you um, make sure to like and uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content um, like th like this. And um, hope. Ho Hopefully you and overall, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Watch it all the way through, and um, hopefully, hopefully this video helps you understand. Um, you know, hopefully this video helps to um, show show why this um, why you why you maybe shouldn't watch or support the support this person because um, that vegan teacher. We're gonna get into her in a, in. Like a, a quick, we're gonna get into her in like a like a second from now. She is not a good person, not even slightly close to being a good person. What what I ha what I haven't mentioned yet is what what she actually does on TikTok. So she tries to spread her vegan beliefs and try to and tries to force other innocent people to be vegan just like her, and she completely is oblivious and blind. And just harasses people for no random reason. She, I don't even, I don't even know if she's actually this vegan in real life. I, I, I honestly think she's just using her power, uh, using the, she's using honestly abusing the power of the platform that she has and attacking other people and trying, you know, just to be hateful and making excuses. Oh, oh, you, you gotta be vegan. This, you gotta be vegan to save the animals. Like, no. You're just being hateful towards people. She's completely mis un, you know misusing her platform, and she is so she is very far removed from reality. Anyways, we're gonna check out her channel and let let let's see someone let's see the content that she has to offer. So this is her, unfortunately, <laughs> Lamau. Quite fun, quite funny in my opinion. Lol. Um, should I? Okay, it's a bunch of vegan stuff. Um, she also brings in some pretty prejudiced and predatory stuff into her videos. And um, this is most of her titles. That vegan teacher sings about at, and she also ats people, which is the incredible part. Lamau, you fail ethics class, that vegan teacher. Uh, or her real name is actually Katie, apparently, Mrs. Katie. Um, once again, once again, as I said in the beginning of this video, she used to be a former English teacher. Um, I don't know if she taught at a middle school or high school, but um, apparently she got fired from her job. I don't fully understand. Okay. Now, this is a pile of dog shit, and we'll get into this. Um, by the way, I'm gonna, uh, if you don't like cursing, then I recommend, you know, or if you can't, like, if you're... If you're a very young viewer watching this video right now, there is going to be some slightly strong, slightly inappropriate language in this video. So um, just keep that in mind. Viewer discretion obviously is advised. Anyways. Okay. Black as shit. Anyways. Oh. Anyways, viewer discretion is advised and I recommend you don't watch a video. Uh, if you're really young, don't watch a video with, do not watch a video with that much swearing in it. Um, and anyway, it's not going to have to do much. I just wanted to keep you in mind. Okay, now we're going to get into this later. I honestly really want to save this video for last, maybe, and try and debunk some of the B the BS claims that she's going to make in this video. Okay, now, um, bullshit. Ah, complete B, yeah, just, that that is disgusting. Ad, Ad, Addison Ray is make okay. Addison Ray is making me making me famous on TikTok. You know what? Let's check out the like and dislike ratios of one of these videos. Let's look at this. <laughs> well, see, look, guys. This is already red flag number one. 
if a video has if a video has more dislikes than likes, then you know it's or, you know it's bad from the start if this is the like to dislike ratio of the video. 1188 likes versus 3.7k dislikes. I actually think Oh wait, did it? Nah. I don't know. Uh, didn't update the numbers, I guess. It did. I also want to mention and bring up that this that um, this video is monetized, and I bet a lot of I bet a lot of our other videos are um, a lot of our other videos are monetized as well. We'll have to check more of that out. But uh, anyway, this is monetized yes. video yes. promoting Chick Fil A, Lamau, and also now another thing I want to mention is that. Um, that she is a um, a verified creator and she has over a hundred thousand subscribers. <gasps> dun dun. All right. Well, okay. Honestly, I I really don't understand why people subscribe to her, even if they even if they're trolling her and don't actually like her. You're still supporting her and. You're making you're giving her motivation to keep uploading these garbage videos and she uploads like six videos in six videos in two days if you look at the date three hours look six videos in two days that is complete utter ca utter chaos dude anyways i actually saw this video by her and uh we're actually gonna take we're gonna take a look at it um hopefully she no she never takes her videos down um she literally attacks every. She attacks everyone. She attacks. She attacks a lot of people, man. But I want to take a look at a dar a video she made on Darman, that the one and only Darman. That video, in my opinion, it, that video that she made, in my opinion, is is really good. Like, or no, it, it it basically represents her very well as being a hateful, nonsensical person. Okay. Also, stop adding people. You're, you're literally pinging people for no darn random reason. It just doesn't make any sense. Stop doing that, that vegan teacher. Oh, perfect. Why, hold on, wait. Why is Darman, who seems so kind, promoting so much animal? <laughs> okay, this is complete garbage. Ah. See? Told you it was monetized. She's making... It's not good for them. She's making... Oh, it's not good. She's making banks in these videos, definitely. Wait, she said it's not It's not good for them. Okay. Now, we're going to just watch this video, and I just want to mention, just because I'm critiquing Mrs. Katie over here, a.k.a. that vegan teacher, as you all know her as... Just because I'm critiquing her does not take away from the fact that Darman is just as bad as her, in my opinion. Darman is also bad, so me critiquing her doesn't make him the hero. Okay? It doesn't, it doesn't, me critiquing her, I just want to point out, me critiquing her does not change my opinion on Darman, and it shouldn't for you either, okay? I already made an ex- I already made an exposing video on Darman and all the points that I make in that video that I made a couple months ago still hold true to this day. In fact, maybe if y'all want to see a Darman exposing video part two, part two, let me know in the comments down below and it could actually could actually happen. I also exposed him live on Instagram. Uh, if you want to check out my if you want to check out my Instagram page, it is just just type in Daniel Ebersol, capital D and capital E. Daniel Ebersol with a capital D and capital E. Just check out that Instagram page and one of my videos. If you scroll scroll down on it, um, there's a Darman exposing exposing video. I expose him live, pretty much uh, live. Yeah, I expose him while streaming. Anyways, let's take a look at this video. Let's just watch this watch this train wreck. This pilot dog that's being done by her um, her vegan dog that doesn't want to be vegan. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's go back to... No, no, no. Okay, we're at 30 seconds in. We're going to go to about 11 seconds in the video. I rewinded. Okay, 11. Yeah. Mundo. Okay. Let's get you a hot dog. A hot dog. Wait, he didn't say vegan. 
Okay. So he's the guy in the video is like, let's get you a hot. He's like, let's get you a hot dog. And then Miss Miss Vegan teacher over here that that teacher said, oh my god, he didn't say vegan. Wait, what? Like just nitpicking the stupidest things in a video just to say something nasty and negative. I don't even think. I'm hoping she doesn't act like this in real life. She probably doesn't. I don't think she's this bad in real life. It's just for YouTube to get to, to gain more clout off of people and clout chase at, and to also just be, you know, and to also just be hateful in general. Um, that's why she's making these videos, I think. And um, <laughs> okay, this is actually well-deserved. Look at this. 7.9K compared to 74,000. If you see a dislike to like ratio like this, if, if you see something like this, it's going to tell you what the video is like. Also, for the most part, read the comments of videos like these. This is obviously, this is obviously a rant that she pulled. This, so if you look at the title of this video, this is obviously a rant that she pretty much pulled 16 feet out of her and, um, you know, you could obviously tell it's not actually helping people. She's just being very hateful and using using shit that is like serious. Okay, let's just keep watching more of this video. We're gonna, we're actually going to look at the comments after I skim through a little bit of this video. So, so anyways, uh, look at all this bullshit she puts in. Whatever. Anyways, here are the comments, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dar. Yes, Darman actually commented on this video i'm pretty sure uh we'll try and oh, we'll try and look for that but anyways oh. okay it's not good for them veganism it's good for the animals the environment and <laughs> be be vegan for the animals the, the environment and human okay She's wrong, completely wrong right here. I just want to point that out right now. Anyways, we're going to go back a little bit. And, uh, yes, uh, yes. I, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I don't think she understand. she really doesn't understand about any, anything, it, anything at all, it seems. Um, uh, we're just going to point this out. Yes, animal abuse. Animal abuse is horrible. Animal cruelty is hor. Animal cruelty is bad. However, here's the thing. She, I understand she wants to save. You know. Well, well. Here's the thing. First of all, the way you're saying, "Oh my God, you're hurting that." Like it sounds. The way you're saying that, vegan teacher. If you're watching this, the the way you're. The way you're saying, um, d don't hurt the animals, it, it comes off as disingenuous and fake. It, it doesn't, like, it doesn't sound like you actually care. And I'm going to say that right now. I just hear the way you talk, and it doesn't sound genuine at all. It sounds like you're just trying to attack this person, okay? And I'm not saying this person is any good. I'm just saying you're attacking him for no specific reason. Y yes, this video is bad, but you nitpick Oh my God! the The hot dog wasn't vegan. Therefore, this guy this guy's inhumane. That that's all you talk about in this video, and um, it makes absolutely no sense. You're not helping sh by doing this. So I just want to point that out. Uh, the second thing is that yes, you should treat. You know, so here's the thing with here's the thing with farm animals. Without them, and if we all preserve them and if we all preserve them and protect them. Um, first of all, over, you need to take into consideration over, like, first of all, some people, okay, we're going to talk about how some people can't be vegan in a little bit, but, um, uh, overpopulation is a thing. Overpopulation of animals is a big, a big problem because animals are messy. And if they destroy the earth's crust, or the ozone layer, that could cause problems. By them going to the bathroom on the ground, vomiting, puking, eating eating the grass um, for other humans, 
because grass could also give us oxygen and good chemicals for us that help us to live. And by protecting, and by protecting all the animals, Katie, that's going to cause problems. And also, we're by protecting and preserving animals, it reduces by protecting and preserve preserving animals by you know spreading this message. You're you're basically also telling people, hey, we also shouldn't eat. Uh, nutritious things like for example meat is important it's important for our it's important important for our bodies pork we need pork okay not every single day of the week you shouldn't eat pork like like every single day for like breakfast lunch and dinner but we need fat fat is actually good for us so we need meats meats are good they add variety and you can't just eat vegetables i'm sorry but you can't uh maybe if you want to live back in, I don't know, 960, 960, no, if you want to live in the year 8960, where people, where people's lifespans averaged about 20 to 25 years old, that's the max amount, um, that's the max amount of time you had to live back then. If you want to go back to those times, feel free, go ahead, but this is a new generation, and you can't just, you know, and, and also, by making this video, you're not you're not immediately convincing people, and the way you're going about it is not convincing at all. And just just because you're saying you're hurting it, hey, are you not considering the animals? Okay, we actually are. Though, actually, you're greatly considering them by turning them into something that will help humans, will help our will help our population, our species. You know. We're all humans. You don't act like one, but honestly, man, I hope you, you know, don't act like, I hope you don't act like this anymore, but um, you, you're just honestly, this is ridiculous, man. God, you're taking things, geez, you're, th this girl is, this woman is taking things out of context and completely, like, like this girl just is, sp yeah, she is spreading misinformation, like, like wildfire and um she needs to understand that animals um if you preserve them and protect them they could cause overpopulation which could cause a whole host of problems and um you can't force others to be vegan and you're not being convincing by making this video if you understand you see i'm 16 years old and i think i'm thinking a little bit more clearly than what you're putting out on the screen now, I don't, I'm not going to call you, I'm not really going to call you any names. Like, I just want to try and, try and convince you to change some of your ways because it's been, you know, five, four, it's been four or five months since like multiple exposing videos came out on you and nothing's gotten to your head. Uh, honestly, this is completely ridiculous. Um, thank God this doesn't have many, th thank God this is so many dislikes because now people could see who you truly are. They could see behind that mask of yours and understand what you're doing is not okay. It, it's really not. You know, you're, you, you need to understand that people need to eat animals to survive and, you know, they need to eat them. I'm not saying they need to, like, you don't eat every single animal on earth, but Pigs and cows and like those actually help you. Like they're actually helping humans and they're helping humans. And what are you going to do by keeping all of them? And, and also you're not, you're not convincing. Like some people can't be vegan. You, you need to understand that eating too much vegetable, eating, um, eating some people that eat a lot of vegetables, they have problems with like, some people can't be vegan and eating a lot of vegetables can like eating just only vegetables can cause problems. You need a variety there. It doesn't really make what. You, OK, I'm sorry if I'm kind of rambling here. I just guys overall, the guys that are the people that are watching this video, I just want you to understand that what she's saying makes does not make any sense at all. She is not making any sense at all. And I'm trying to debunk what she's saying. I might. I might be rambling a little bit. I'm not trying to, but I just want to 
I just want to debunk what she says, and overall, she really isn't making any sense. And, um, or actually, no, no sense at all. Uh, okay, now she's bringing now she's bringing past traumatic experiences into this. Okay, no. First of all, I don't think that's how animals get slaughtered. Also, I mean they might, but also don't bring. Are you referencing? Is she referencing the Holocaust? <laughs> no, I think she is. Okay, that is ridiculous. Y you're you're telling me that. Animals suffer the same way that humans did back in one of the most horrific events ever. Now she's bringing in stuff that is traumatic to people's families and to people in general. Now she's bringing past, tra past traumatizing events into this. This is ridiculous, man. Like, unbelievable. I, I have... Oh, my, my brain is fucking roasted now. I'm so pissed. Oh my god, they're... <laughs> okay, um, first of all, no. No, no, no! These aren't human... <sighs> I'm gonna try and calm down here. No. Uh-uh. Stop... Re stop referencing the holo... Stop referencing the Holocaust. That is unacceptable what you're doing. I can't even watch. I can't even stomach 17 minutes of this absolute abomination this train wreck of dog that's on the screen haha -ha. this pile of this pile of horse shit that's on the screen unbelievable sorry if i'm swearing sorry if i'm swearing a little bit too i'm trying not to but this is just this really pisses me off this really makes me upset that man i just want people to know that this person isn't good she's not helpful for anyone anybody at all and we're not going to spend too much more time on this video. I just want to let you all know that this is easily debunkable. Um, you could actually watch Glider Guy. He made a video on uh, this Darman video that she's reacting to. And um, uh, he actually made a whole video on it. And he's pretty much saying what I'm saying is that what this woman's saying, what this woman is saying is absolute bull crap. And that's what uh, Glider Guy, he does a really good job at breaking down what she says too. Uh, yeah, check out check out my boy Ricky overall, aka Glider Guy. That's his real name, by the way. He he said it in a video. So now uh, I'm going to show you. So Darman, Darman, our boy Darman. That's pinged literally in the title, um, in this fucking this fucking title. Um, he actually commented on this video. Now for the life. Now I actually I actually have proof that he did. Because Glider Guy saved the day. Like, Glider Guy made a video on, on the Darman video that I'm watching right now. He made the, he, he reacted to the exact same video that I'm reacting to right now. And um, that's kind of proof that it was Darman that commented on the video. And we're going to read, we're going to read the comment uh, soon. You probably saw it on the screen right now, but we're, I'll read it to y'all. Uh, yeah, I'll read it to you. I'll read it to y'all guys. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, but anyways, so this video is what Darman actually commented on because he's literally in the title pinged. If you click on this, it will lead you ex it will lead you straight to his channel. It will lead you straight to his channel. Now, anyways, uh, anyways, watch this video by Glider Guy. He pretty much reacts to the whole. He pretty much reacts. To this whole video that she made, um, that she made on Darman, and uh, he pretty much he he makes a lot of good points, makes a lot of good points in this video. So I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, go go leave it a like. It's it is really it's really well done and serious and and it's serious and there's actually serious points made in this video. Anyways. Ding, ta-da! Here's Darman's comment. Dar so this is Darman's, um... Yeah. So this is what he said on the video. Um, I promise I'll include vegan food for an upcoming video if you remove at, at least one of my... Now, uh, I promise I'll include vegan food in an upcoming video if you remove at least one of my exes. Now, do... 
Do not take that comment seriously, y'all. Um, this is honestly, like, this is honestly probably, it's probably just a joke. Like, he doesn't actually mean this. He honestly is, like, confused. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him for that. I would, I would be confused too if some random person nitpicked one of my videos and is like, oh my, oh my God, that, that table isn't brown enough. Or oh, th that salt thing doesn't look like, that salt thing isn't a wad of ice cream. Like some random person that pings my name in the title of their videos and nitpicks me about there being a small little fly on my desk that's not really bothering anybody else but that person. Or my tissues not being the right color. You know, just simple, stupid, stupid shit like that. So he's honestly pretty confused. And this comment, I'm going to, I'm going to prove that he actually doesn't even do this. So we're going to go to another one of that vegan teacher's videos. We can scroll down a little bit. Um, oh God. Yeah. It gets a lot worse from here, doesn't it? So, ooh, Yeah gets even worse, bro. I'm telling you, man, this, this person is really, is really outrageous and, and, and not good. Honestly, dude. Okay. Where's, um, we're going a little bit to match the upload so much. Okay. Look at this. So we're going to click on this video. We're going to read the comments to it. Leave a dislike and I'm going to prove. Okay. Now this is unacceptable. The, this is so the first thing I, so the first thing that comes up when I click on this video is this vegan phobia like racism okay <laughs> she doesn't know what vegan phobia means she has no idea what it means I'll actually look it up right now okay vegan uh, vegan phobia so. So basically it's a person who, who dislikes vegans and vegetarians. It is, she thinks it means, she, so, so basically she thinks, she thinks vegan phobia is when, is when somebody else is cruel to an animal or eats animal products. That's not what it is. It's somebody who dislikes ve who dislikes vegans so much for no reason that, or for a specific reason, but they just still hate him so much that uh, they want to kill him or something. Something cruel like that. Um, anyways, yeah. It doesn't mean eating burgers is... That's not vegan phobia. That's what she thinks it means, but no, that's not what it is. So she has... Oh, sorry. So, so already she has no idea what this is. And um, let's just watch more of this train wreck. Oh, she, show, she shows us the whole damn no, video. I think many of you think that vegan phobia is just a big joke. But I am telling uh, you. Okay, well, no, no, no. They think you're a big joke. Vegan phobia can be taken seriously. It should be taken seriously. Discriminating against others should be taken seriously. Any kind of schism, schism, jism, jism, schism is not good. You're the joke. You're, you're being racist, homophobic, and you're using... You're using terrible, terrible times to promote your veganism and I guess to hate on others. I guess to hate on others. I don't really think, I, honestly, oh, sorry, sorry I had to stretch there, but I honestly don't think she is this bad towards others, uh, like in her personal life that outside of YouTube, I mean, nobody really likes her. She's pretty much a bad, bad, evil, cruel person and, um, uh, I, 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 I honestly think she's just doing this to hate on people, hate on others, honestly. This is really disgusting. I've heard from enough students about the bullying that they go through that I know it is real and it's serious. There are parents who abuse their kids when they declare that they're going to be vegan. There are kids who... Um, okay. Well, you need to show proof, first of all. You can't just say, pull stuff out of your and expect to do something with it. Yes, abuse happens. Um, parents not accepting a kid's yada yada, yada yada yada. What a parent not accepting a kid's belief that's like a belief that a lot of people believe in, not accepting their type of faith, sexuality, or belief or their lifestyle 
and parents not accepting that and and emotionally or physically abusing their kids for it, yes, that should be taken seriously, but she's abusing others, so she's... and. and Honestly, every word that comes out of her mouth is just a big ball gag laugh. Nothing that she says should be... Oh, what the hell was that? Probably a fire engine. Anyways, nothing that she says should be taken seriously at all. This, do this doesn't make any sense. Make some sense. And laugh when they eat it? And laugh she doesn't even talk about the Darman thing. She mainly talks at half this... Half this 60 second video is talking about nothing that matters at all. I don't get it. I, I don't get this, dude. Um, that's totally unacceptable. <laughs> you're, un you're unacceptable, buddy. Maybe I'm skimming, skimming through this video a little bit. But basically, and also, if you check out Darman's videos, get on to YouTube for a second. Um. <clears throat> Um, oh, sorry, someone's, so let's just go on to Darman, and, um, we're just gonna check out his videos, we're not actually gonna be watching any of Darman's, should it, we're not gonna be watching any of his, we're not gonna be watching any of his crappy, crappy little videos, so, um, however, so, the date that this video was made, August 10th, 2021, so that was a little over two months ago. So let's find something a little bit over two months ago. Now, Darman uploads four times a week. We already know that. So there's nothing. So I'm basically, overall, I'm basically proving to you guys that nothing that she's saying, Darman's not going to work on a video with her. And if you look, anything past... The date, she said, this is roughly, by the way, this is an estimate, this is an ed educated guess. Look at this. Look at these titles. Observe. Ta -da, ta -da, that's why they're up here. Look at this. Nothing even includes anything close to that vegan teacher or veganism in general. So that pretty much proves that that, that dormant, that pretty much, that pretty much proves Blech. That pretty much proves that that comment Darman made was just a complete ball, was a complete ball gag joke. It wasn't to be taken like that comment wasn't wasn't to be taken seriously. He wasn't actually serious about that, and I just proved it to y'all right there. And um, we're just gonna take a look at some other videos that she's made. We're gonna take a look at okay. Let's take a look at this video. This is a pile of bullshit. Absolutely unbelievable. Stop including this. Okay? You're discriminatory! Discriminatory! Okay, that was a little bit loud of me, but anyways. More advertisements. You know, trying to profit off of these poor viewers that are disliking. Don't give her any attention, by the way. I'll, 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 talk, I'll talk more at the end of the video. Let's just watch this. Hello, everyone, and especially you, members of the LGBTQ community. You know what, what happened? What are you vegan yet? Huh? What's your excuse? You don't, you don't like oppression, right? So why are you oppressing others? That's what I mean. If you don't like oppression, why do you pay for people to do it to another group of individuals? Innocent, turkeys, pigs, lambs, sheep. Okay, stop! Stop talking about animals that can be easily reproduced and that are... They're helping people. These are helping others to survive. You need... Poultry's good for you. Once again, as I said, meats and poultry are so good for you. Adding variety in your diet, it's not hurting the animals. They're doing a good thing. And once again, overpopulation, like these animals aren't your pets. Yes, if you if you have a pet turkey, that helps you. I mean, people have pet, pet animals, then abusing them is not good, good at all. Taking good care of them is ex is extremely very is extremely and very important, and abusing them is not cool at all. But if these animals are in a licensed and specific type of like owned farm, owned by somebody who's uh, making a, a a meat or tur a meat or turkey business, um, that's completely fine. You're, you're you're using those animals, reproducing them, and then turning them into good food, into good stuff, and you're calling others you're saying they're oppressing somebody she's talking 
she's talking about these animals like if they're a human that's going through a struggle. They're really not. They're not. They're, once again, once again, what she's saying is really not clicking in my mind, and she's not convincing me that she knows what she's talking about. She used to have a profession as a teacher, and now this is the crap that she's doing. Unforgivable, man. Oh, also... Remember that remember that time she she tried making the n word remember she remember the time she tried making the n word look good she actually said it in a video without any remorse remember that time that's the person we're dealing with right here she said it on purpose it wasn't even she didn't even unintentionally include it she said it on purpose she designed the video to be specifically about the N-word, which is absolutely horrible, by the way. And the fact that she made a, a, a traumatic word into a video was disgusting. And she was praising it. Praising it, dude. Like, honestly, man. Hold up. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, she was praising the N-word. And I, the first video I ever saw on this woman was... Um, let's actually turn this down a little bit. The... We're not gonna watch the whole video, but anyways, fuck. Huh. Okay, when I first saw the video with Gordon Ramsay um, eating that burger, and um, when um, that vegan teacher made that song, I actually thought she was trolling. I thought this was a joke, but as I watched more and more videos on her, I realized, yeah, yes, yeah, she, she really, yes, she really isn't tro like. This is actually how she acts, and um, she really is. She really isn't trolling. I thought she was just um, doing it as a as a troll video, cause cause I know I knew she was vegan a, a long time ago, um, and when I saw that video of her um, singing the song on Gordon Ramsay, and he called her the vegan donut, he called her that. <laughs> I actually thought that vegan teacher was just. I thought it was just a skit. I thought it was just a skit, but it's not. This is how she, this is how she actually acts towards people online. A sixty-year-old woman. Hold on, we're actually going to look up her age. Oh shit! That vegan. That vegan teacher age. Okay, perfect. That works too. She is. Hold on. She just turned fifty-seven. She is. She's older than my uncle. My uncle's going to be 56. Or, yeah, I have an uncle that's going to be 56 in December. She is older than him, yet acts like she acts like she acts. She acts like she's a racist and criminally insane 20 year old. And my cousin or no, not my my uncle acts more mature than that. That is absolutely outrageous and unbelievable. Almost 60 years old, over 50, over 55, and you're acting like a complete troglodyte. That just blows my blows my fr freaking goddamn mind, and I'm honestly lost for words. Once again, sorry about this, but I'm just really lost for words. Remembering the definition, being vegan simply means being kind to animals. If you say I don't want to be vegan, it's like saying, oh my god, being okay. No, being kind to animals. No, that's not the sole definition. That's that's the definition in your head, in your little tiny head of yours, not our human heads. If you could see me right there, but but anyways, that's the definition of you. That that's not what veganism is. People be vegan to be healthier. Some people can't be vegan because they has because they have this type of disease. I don't really want to get into medical stuff. My my mom's gone into that. I could ask her, but she doesn't want to be in my vid. But like, anyways, oh no. Anyways, like some people can't be vegan and you're not, you can't, she needs to understand that you can't force people to be vegan. You can't do that by making a video that, by making a video that's not going to change people's opinion on eating meat products. That really is not like you're not, you're not helping, you're not helping anybody by bringing in race, sex, um, Traumatic experiences like 9-11, bringing in 9-11, the Holocaust, bringing in that is actually going to make it even worse for you. And people are going to take you even less seriously. And they're just not even going to listen to you. So, oh, oh my God. Yeah, 
I'm forcing you to be vegan? No, we're just not going to listen to you and we're going to move on. No, nobody even cares because you're bringing in race, um, gender, gender equality. Um, you're bringing in, you know, 9-11, the Holocaust. Really, it, this really freaking pisses me off. I, I really just... Oh, I, I, I kind of want her to change so bad, but it's really hard getting through to her head. It It's really freaking, it's really freaking hard to actually like get through to her. Like it's hard to actually get through to her. She has proven time and time again that she, she won't change her ways. She'll continue acting like this, attacking random innocent people for no reason. I hope this teacher falls off. She needs to learn that this type of content, eh, it, the, this does not have a place on YouTube is, is what she needs to learn. And um, I, I'm hoping that, you know, eventually she just gets banned on YouTube like she did with TikTok, like she did with TikTok for her, for her videos. And Honestly, she needs to learn that forcing people to be vegan and attacking others and using all these um, traumatic experiences, talking about um, genders, um, races, and um, t talking about bringing in homophob homophobia into this, um, bringing in all that stuff and, f and just forcing your beliefs onto others by making these crap-ass videos and by bullying others and pinging random people that don't want to be pinged, she needs to realize that that stuff is all bad and it's just going to end... It's just going to make it even worse for her in the public eye. And people recognize her face. Like, not a... Not a day... Go, not a video goes by where people are like, oh, it's that it's that soul online who... Oh, it's, it's that asshole online who makes videos on... Um, um, makes videos on random people that aren't up to her stan are that are not up to her vegan standards. Oh my god, we're just gonna put an X on this paper because you're not vegan. And okay, unfreaking believable. Um, K Katie or Katie or that vegan teacher, if you're watching this, please understand that what you're doing is wrong, and you gotta stop with trying to force your beliefs on others and stop pinging others. Stop pinging others in your videos and stop forcing them, stop forcing or trying to force them into being vegan when you know it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're not changing people by being vegan. Keep that stuff to yourself. D don't involve it with others. And don't, honestly, you might need to apologize for all the stuff you've done. An actual, good, decent, and genuine apology. Get people on your side and stop, ma and stop making this damn damn content. It's not helping you. This is going to get you nowhere in the next 50. This is going to get you nowhere in the future. In the next 50 years, if this channel is still up, it, this is not going to get you anywhere. Uh, in fact, if you, if you probably keep, um, vegan teacher, if you probably keep making videos like this, these are these are eventually going to get demonetized by the new youth by the changing landscape landscape of YouTube and this I'm sorry but I'm sorry buddy but um the future the future clearly doesn't look bright for you um you you need to understand that what these videos are wrong and nobody's taking you seriously and everybody everybody is laughing at you because of the that you're making by that you make you're honestly digging yourself deeper into a hole. This is eventually going to get demonetized and um, nobody's really going to care about this or watch about it anymore. She's going to make it harder to she's going to make it harder for herself to um, get a new job, to have a normal life. She's making it more way more difficult for herself to do that. And she's really just being toxic. And honestly, she needs to grow up, grow up and change fast. Anyways. Hopefully you enjoyed my long ass TED talk. I finally I unmasked this person and I'm hoping I'm hoping you guys see the light and under the light and understand and understand that this this person is bad and she is not helping YouTube and she is not good to people. I just want you to understand that I I exposed that vegan teacher in this video and this is what happened. You you finally saw the the person <laughs> She truly is. You saw the person that she truly is and has become. And honestly, dude, I remember 
probably before YouTube even existed, she was probably a lot better. She was probably a lot better than this person you're seeing now. And um, it's a shame. Honestly, I hope she gets better. I'm hoping that something gets through to her that this is not right. But anyways, I'm hoping, hopefully this video brought to light that, that hopefully this video brought to light that that vegan teacher is a bad person and you shouldn't watch or support her. Um, anyways, yeah, um, that's about it for this video. This video was kind of long. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something by watching this. Yes, I did stutter and ramble. Uh, I did stutter and ramble a bit in this video, but hopefully I got the point across about this person. Anyways, my voice is starting to dry out and it is getting rough as y'all are hearing. I'll see you in the next one. Um, goodbye, see ya. Peace out. Hopefully you enjoyed this.